Welcome back, everyone, to episode 38 of Designing an Art Book. I'm Craig Halp, and for this episode, got painting number 29 of the 48, uh, prep work for Maine, still continuing, and then we're going to put some artwork and some frames, whoops, and then Journey to Yukazoo, slide, Throwback Thursday, slide number 14, I think it is. Artwork. Okay, painting number 29 of 48. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, this book is divided into five sections. Uh, so I'm going to show you the contents page first before we go on. We've been here before with the contents page. Uh, Bob, a little help. Uh, first, we had albums one through eight, the 12 by 12 paintings, and the sequence was one through eight. Then there was intermission one, and they were eight by 10 inch paintings, and the sequence was nine through 20. Then we were back to the albums, uh, 12 by 12 inches, and the sequence was 21 through 28. And now we're into intermission two. Uh, this is a grouping of 12 paintings, 11 by 14 inches, and that sequence is 29 through 40 of the 48. Uh, the first one I'm gonna show you is a 14 by 11 and doodle, worksheet, and finished painting. Easel. Okay, here we go. Bob, okay, thank you. Uh, this one's circled in orange. Uh, this one is the one that I'm using for the first of the intermission two paintings. And here's the pencil worksheet prior to transfer to the canvas. And here we go with the finished painting. Uh, this is titled Up Above. It's a 14 by 11 oil on canvas. Well, there's no reason to be looking at me right now. <laughs> Let's start right in with the visuals. So on my worksheets, I had settled on a box that was one and an eighth inches wide by one and nine sixteenths inches high. So I created 24 boxes in my sketchbook, uh, four to a sheet at that size. So the current change to the worksheet on the box size got me to one and three quarter inches wide by one and three quarter inches high. So that way I could expand the amount of whimsical stick figure drawing information. So my next step in prepping this art book project for Maine is changing the box size in the sketchbooks, which I'm now starting to make those one and three quarter inches by the one and three quarter inches. I guess it's nothing like watching an old artist make some changes uh, to establish the uh, validity <laughs> of this project, isn't it? <laughs> right? <laughs> so the next step after changing the box size is to go in and expand all the rough sketch drawings and get them finalized and ready for transfer to the good paper. Okay, so what's next? Uh, just like I just showed you on the little visual, uh, I've already expanded one within the box. Now I've got to do 23 more. Uh, a lot of work ahead of me. But the, the more I can do here, uh, the more success I have with working with the watercolor and pen and ink. Next up, art exhibit. Okay, kids, <laughs> and I can call you kids because I'm the old guy. <laughs> uh, last episode, uh, built some frames. Uh, this episode, I'm going to get an image into the frames. But before we do that, uh, no matter how good uh, your miter chop blades are or your electric miter saw, uh, you're not always going to have perfect 45 degree cuts. And when you start putting these in the vise and gluing them up, there's always a tendency to get some small gaps where they just don't fit perfectly together. And one way to fix this is uh, with filler. And since we got uh, gray, I mix up the appropriate color and then I go ahead and I put what I need to to fill the cracks, any cracks if there is a crack. <laughs> little paper towel to rub it down. And then what we have is we've got some nice 
finished corners all the way around. Next up, we're going to put an image in. Okay, first we're going to flip the frame over. We've got a painting. Painting that you won't see closer till maybe episode 54, 55. Uh, next, we need to nail it down. And this little tool here puts a flat screw, I mean a flat, not a flat screw, like a flat type of nail. All right. And then, uh, rule of thumb. Uh, to put the eye hook in, All right, the measurement is usually two-thirds of the way up. And with this being 12, 13 inches, then pencil, that is about maybe eight and a quarter. Don't go getting your calculators out on me and I don't need to be that exact. <laughs> next, next, uh, what I do is I put in at least a starter hole. I hook. Whoop. Once you got this down and it starts to tighten up a little bit, always just take a small screwdriver or something and just go ahead and put that in. Uh, another eye hook. I'll be back when I get this part done. And now we need the wire. What I normally do is make two loops. Uh, you just want to give it a little bit of play, not a whole lot. Okay, wire on and I had some smaller ones, but these are due. For our little demo. Get yourself a little business card and if you've got one, if it's necessary. And then put that in. All right. All nice and spiffy. And with that, we're going to head right on back into Throwback Thursday. From Las Vegas, I headed on out the door, got on to Route 15, and headed all the way over to Los Angeles. Title block for the Journey to Yukazu, slide 14. And here's the open book page, text, primary image, and border artwork. And this is the primary image. It's titled The Video Game, and it's an oil on board. And here's the border artwork on the left side. And then here's the border artwork to the right. Okay, wonderful people, end of episode. And see you next episode. <laughs> Ending credits, musical guest, and take care. I'll see you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.